Hello Transformers fans and welcome to a new toy review. This time I'm showing you something special. This is a European exclusive figure uh, and his name is Flame and he's one of the Brain Masters or one of the Motor Waiters whichever you prefer to call them. Mm, I have to admit I'm a little bit confused. This is the European version and there was a Japanese version too I'm not sure which one is called Brain Master and which one is called Motor Waiter, so I'm just using both of these expressions for him. Um, he's essentially the same figure as the Japanese version, although the color scheme is a little bit different for that one. Um, as you can see, this is a very nice looking and quite big yellow Lamborghini. Great figure, if you ask me nice touch that the tires are actually rubber but it has its flaws I have to admit that first as you can see you see all these black holes where you so you can you can store his gun or no it it's well where you can store his sword gun thingy I don't have that one so I'm I can't show it to you but I have to admit they don't really look good, especially not this one, which is basically just holding the arm there. The stickers for this figure are also nothing special. Well, this little flame is, well, not that much. And you have a bigger flame motif going on here, which looks nice, but nothing that special really. I mean, the flame motif on... on Hot Rod is, is way way better executed than this one. Um, you have stickers for the lights. You have stickers for these spoilers here. And that's basically it. You have some more stickers in robot mode that I will show. Off, but th this is all the, the details that you are getting with. Which is, I have to admit, not that much and not that impressive. Also, as you can see, this hinge here is quite visible. Uh, it will, it's needed for the transformation, but we have seen older transformers that were better executed in that sense. So that's also a negative in my eyes. And um, really, this, this might sound like I don't like this figure. No, that's not the case. I really like this figure. I like how bulky and 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 the, how G1 it is it's just that when I first saw it I have to admit I didn't like it uh, on the first sight I never had it as a child I, 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 I just uh, I just came across it as an adult collector and to tell you the truth first it looked to me like some kind of cheap knockoff toy but later I don't know, I can't really tell you why, but I grew, I grew very fond of this figure and I'm really happy to have it. The cockpit can be opened and it can be a little bit difficult. And as you can see the driver sits in quite nice and tightly. Um, I like this, I really like this option because with other Headmaster figures, especially the Headmaster Juniors, the driver and his driver's seat often moves in the in the cockpit. Uh, it's they are still smaller than than the space available there, and I really like it how they did here that the the size of the cockpit is actually the size of the figure. Now the little Brainmaster figure that comes with it is actually a quite a neat little guy. He's about the same size as a headmaster. I have Arcana here to show you that they are actually quite the same size, both of them. And uh, articulation wise, this has a little bit of improvement in, in a sense that you can actually freely move the hands without, without being worried that you will break it off. As you probably know, with the headmasters, the hands or the arms are the arms are designed in a way that that they can 
they, they are really hard to move and you can do it if you're very carefully just I don't, I don't even know so I, I'm really afraid of breaking them so I, ju I just don't move the arms at all the legs of course move with the headmasters and they also have a knee articulation because of the transformation this one doesn't have a knee articulation but you can also move the legs like that it looks as if they are wearing uh, an engine on their back so in a sense they kind of look like power master figures or oh, again they are the same size as the head or power master figures but this engine is not really well it's not an engine it's just a part that you need uh, as you do the brain master transformation because this part will get will get stuck in the in the robot and so the face can come out as you do that part i will show it transformation is very simple um, just like uh, some of the headmaster figures especially the headmaster junior figures it's basically the same you just open this part you kind of separate the legs a little bit so you can open them like that and you get the hands out like this on each side and it's done articulation wise you can move the arms you can't really get them go all the way up because of this part the cockpit part getting in the way so that's all that you're having um, the, the legs move like this but that's all and as you probably noticed the face is empty so that's where the real brain master figure comes in and one other interesting detail if you look at the brain master and his little sticker he looks like the big robot in a little version so the little brain masters actually do look like the big counterparts which is also a difference because the headmasters they they don't look like they are well they they share the color scheme but they don't look like the the big robot that you can build with the help of them but these actually do and i think it's quite it's quite funny so you open the whole front part of the robot and as you can see that was the cockpit of the car so you just place your little figure inside and that's where the backpack part comes in pl in, into play and this is actually quite a neat little gimmick that they are having here so as you close this up the face will elevate and form the face of the big robot <laughs> It looks nice, a little Optimus Prime type of face with these orange eyes, I really like it. It has a little um, samurai thingy, samurai helmet thingy going on, uh, which I, I also quite like. And altogether I really think it's a nice robot figure, blocky and well very G1 in terms of articulation but uh, I still I still like it very much if you're looking at it from the back obviously it doesn't look that impressive but just because of the gimmick I, I really think it's it's worth a try because I really like how that works. 
for a size comparison here he is alongside with Hot Rod and with Siren as you can see he's, he's quite a big bulky figure he's bigger than Hot Rod a little bit taller has more, more bulk into it um, I think he fits very nicely with the Headmasters, Headmaster Juniors and Power Master figures um, he's basically the same type what I'm really happy for is that they didn't give him the unilegs that they gave to Siren for example and some other um, headmasters like Nightbeat uh, even though his legs doesn't move uh, don't really have much of uh, articulation they are still open a little bit uh, and I can't express how thankful I am for that I really I really don't like uh, unileg figure the, the unileg type of legs on figures so I'm very glad they did it this way in car mode um, he's also quite big so he won't really fit in with scale if you are thinking about sideswipe or Sunstreaker so all the other Lamborghinis are much smaller than him now these guys can go for a lot of money on eBay and I don't really see that many on them on sale uh, they were featured in the Transformers Victory uh, cartoon series which was a Japan exclusive series if, if I'm right and um, again the Japanese versions have different color scheme this one I think is yellow with black and his name was Lester or Blaster or something like that in the Japanese version um, honestly I think I prefer this color scheme a little bit better to that one but I would have been fine with that version also uh, in the cartoon they could combine into a big robot the three of them um, which is not that impressive I think they left that feature out of the European release so they didn't even include all the parts that you would need for a combiner robot I'm not that sad because of the fact um, I'm still I may still buy uh, Lightspeed which is a quite a similar robot to him I, I really like how he looks I'm not a big fan of the third one so I will probably not pay the price for it because as I said they are quite expensive so that has been my review of Flame the Brain Master, Motor Master, Motor Waiter I'm sorry Brain Master or Motor Waiter Flame uh, I hope you liked it um, stay tuned because I will try to do some more uh, reviews of a little bit more obscure and more rare transformers uh, if I can get my hands on them um, thank you for watching and take care bye bye